Hi everyone, it's uh, Shah United here from the Man United Agenda. I've uh, got these two gentlemen who are obviously fellow United family members like us, um, Nathan and Derek, father and son combo, coming to the match, which is always beautiful, you know, like it's one of those things that we all, all wish we could do or be able to do so. Um, gents, thanks very much for stopping, taking the time out before the match. Obviously, we've been in a tricky situation over these last couple of weeks. Uh, would really like to find out your opinion and what you think um, about Oli, firstly, secondly, about our defence, and third, what can we do to make it better? So, I'll let you take it away. Okay. Well, I'll go first, because I think the defence isn't playing very well at the minute, but um, they went on an unbeaten run last season, and they can do it again. I think trying to change Oli uh, at this stage of the season when there's nobody out there, it's foolish. So we've just got to be patient. You know, we were patient with Sir Alex, we've been patient with Ollie, and we never know. He might not be the man for the job, but he might be the man for the job, in my opinion. So that's where I'm at. Do you, do you think not having any silverware, like in, in the first, this, you know, situations we've been in, is that putting a lot more pressure on him from other fans, yeah. other areas, and you know, you know, the, I think what you're saying is positive. I think what you're saying is right. I think we should you know, stick by him. He's taken us a lot further. But is there a, a feeling that even you have yourself that we need to get something out of this season? Yeah, yeah, I do. And he was a bit naive in the final last season. Um, he wasn't as positive as he should have been. But, you know, it's it's a learning curve for him and the rest of the team. And... Uh, and we've just got to stick together. It's as simple as that. Don't, don't, don't panic. Brilliant. Panic. Brilliant. And so, we're going to go over to Nathan, Derek's son. You know, so, Nathan, what, what's your thoughts? I'm actually shocked because we actually, I actually agree with him. <laughs> we don't often agree on a lot of things, particularly uh, Fred in midfield. But, we're just um, here building relationships back together yeah, again. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I never, I never like, want the manager out or anything the day especially someone like Ollie you know um, yeah no matter what even if he if he's get the sack or he's to move on or whatever you're gonna still be singing his name in the stands and stuff so yeah I don't want I, I don't want him to go at the minute but especially because I don't know who to, who we'd get like Conte just going to Tottenham and stuff like that I don't know who he'd be after but and yeah I think the back four is a bit naive at times but I'm hoping but well, I keep saying I'm hoping with Varane like that'll stabilize but he keeps getting injured so hopefully when he gets a good run Good run back in the side. He can uh, he can get the back four or back three, whatever he decides to play. Up and running. But yeah, I'm just more shocked that we agreed on that. <laughs> the, the, it's, it's interesting you mentioned about Varane, isn't it? Because I think all of us as football players have respected him and his partnership uh, at Real Madrid and with Ramos. Uh, but we've all known in our back in the back of our minds that he has been had injury stints out before, even at Real Madrid, and we knew what we were going to get. We are going to get an excellent defender, but maybe someone who's like a Bailly, who's in and out of the squad a little bit. And we've obviously seen that a couple of times this season already, and we're quite early on in the season. I mean, do you see, do you, in, in light of that, do you think that Bailly, Lindelof are good enough to play that partnership with Maguire? Uh, well, they have to be, don't they? They have to be at the moment, because we can't buy players, but... This, the squad needs strengthening a little bit, but when we go in the market, the, the inflated prices and and you know everybody wants extra money because it's Manchester United. So I think we've just got to be patient, be yeah. patient, and buy somebody a bit younger, you know, with potential. Um, and see how we go. I think Lindelof did a job last year, and a lot of people. I know a lot of people. I don't want to say don't rate him because I think they do, but I think obviously they think we should, we should have better centre half. But yeah, I think Lindelof did a job last year and he obviously parted Maguire for the, for the majority. Um, and, you know, like what I was saying before, yeah, like that was saying before we went on a bit of an unbeaten run last year and, and in all these like first season and things like that, like and Lindelof, you know, he was he was at the back partner in like Maguire and that for, for most of that. So, I mean, I think it, it's, it's not bad. It's He's not a bad pace. option to have. Yeah, it's I think you'd rather have around. You need somebody with a bit of pace and, you know, I've, I've heard fans in the stands, you know, moaning about Lindelof and Maguire. But I think Maguire's, I think Maguire's a class act, and I think 
you know, what he lacks in other departments, he's good at, he's good at playing the ball forward, he's good at moving forward. So we just need somebody to complement him. He struggles sideways a little bit every now and then, doesn't yeah, he? Know. <laughs> yeah, know. Yeah. But, you know, nobody's perfect out there, and we've just got to accept that, you know, these are the players we've got. What I don't, what I can't stand is like two weeks ago when there was no effort. Everyone give up. That, and, and Ollie won't tolerate that either. So, you know, let, let's see a, a good performance today. Fantastic. Yeah. So, on that note, gents, look, well, obviously we're all eager to get in now. Um, what do you reckon the score is going to be? And uh, where do you think we're going to finish up in the season? Uh, I, I hope the score is going to be 3 0 to United. Okay. Um, I think if we can finish in the top four um, because of this stumble, um, I'll be happy. Um, and I would like to, to, to win a trophy. Fantastic. So that's it, really. Thanks, Derek. Appreciate that. Nathan, obviously, you know, Dad's had a good say there. So I think he's covered probably a lot of what, what you were going to say to a certain degree. But, you know, we're going to take the score and see where you're going to finish up. Yeah, and then... I like to play the same as him with the finish up in the top four and win a trophy that'd be nice score today I'll go for an optimistic one now good man uh, yeah I can't yeah Clean sheets, clean sheets from the father and son duo here at Old Trafford, which we like to hear. So brilliant. Thank you very much. And obviously you can follow us on the Man United agenda. We'll be uploading your video. Cheers. Thanks. <laughs>